Hi guys, how's it going? Dexstar here from Dexstar.net with a lesson on single stroke rolls. Right, single stroke roll, the most basic of all rudiments, but often overlooked. Everyone looks at this and goes, single stroke, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Let's go practice something more exotic. Wrong, you gotta work on this. Imagine you've got a car, and the car's absolutely fine, it's driving down the road, that's all good, it looks okay, but it's a little bit rusty, the engine's full of meh, and it just looks bleh. and this is the thing, the car, it runs, it works, but it could be better if you just polished it up a little bit, if you cleaned the engine out, this car's gonna run a lot smoother. So same thing just here. You might have a really kind of straight single stroke roll. It's getting you by, you're playing it around the drums, that's okay, but wouldn't you like that like super duper, shiny, polished, super Mark II, don't know much about cars type single stroke roll? Of course you do, but you've got to work to try and get that. So that's what we're going to try and look at here. So what we're going to do is take a normal single stroke roll. Just try it either on a pad, a snare drum, a rolled up piece of carpet, that's what I used to use, and just blaze it out and just see how it sounds. And just get, get a feel for that. And that's like, okay, you're going to work on this. You're going to try and make it faster. You're going to try and make it smoother. I'm going to show you how. So first thing we need to get into, first of all, is if you've not looked how to actually hold the drumsticks properly, very important lesson to get into. Go check it out on my website, dexstar.net. It's all free. There's a load of cool stuff on there on how to actually hold the sticks. In short terms, you're holding the stick between these two fingers just here, and these three fingers are guiding the stick down. So there's more you can do to get into that. It's well worth having a look on how to actually hold the sticks. Now, the other thing you can try and do is start to get used to using the different gears on the arm, which are just the different kind of joints that we can use to actually play the drums. You might not be aware of this. So what we can do is we can play with our upper arm, and that's really great for loud and slow stuff. You can wallop the drum. So you see my arm's coming up, and it's all coming from there. But you can see that's not great for playing fast. If you just put your arm out like that, and just use your upper arm to go up and down, you can see you look a bit daft to start with, but you can see that's never going to get very quick. You're never going to be able to do that quick. If you just did that, well done, guys, for trying it out. Then you've got your elbow. Got that joint there. That's a little bit quicker. Then you've got your wrist. That's even quicker. And what's even quicker than the wrist? The fingers. They're the super quick ones. So you can see the smaller the muscle grouping, the faster it's going to move. So you can see if you want to play faster, smaller muscle groupings. They're also quieter. This is the thing. You want to play loud, bigger muscles. You want to play quiet or fast, using these ones down here. You can try and do both, but you're gonna be using a mixture of big muscles and small muscles to play fast and loud at the same time. But just for now, try and get it down into these smaller muscles. You can still get enough volume from these things. So, let's have a look. At the minute, you might be playing it with your elbow. You might be playing it a bit with your wrist. Single strokes, just that. So you might be playing it kinda of like this. That's okay, it's got you by for now, but it's the rusty car, we want the super shiny thing. So what we're gonna do is first of all, try and get it into just your wrist, so you don't wanna use your elbows at all. So you can see it's just a turn of the wrist going on there. And then you can also try and get it a little bit quicker using your fingers. So this is the thing, watch my wrist now, my wrist isn't gonna move. It's just my fingers that are dribbling the stick just there. And I've got a lesson on this. This is called finger control, finger technique. And it's if you look up how to play faster on the drums, uh, my lesson is there, Dexter. Go check out that one just there. And I go into dribbling the stick, trying to get your fingers behind the stick and pulling it up like that. So that's what you're doing there just in short terms. If you want to get into that in more detail, go check out that lesson. But that's going to enable you to play the drums a lot faster just using these smaller muscle groupings. And you can see it's plenty loud enough. So using that you'll be able to play this a little bit quicker. So it's just about trying to get it into these smaller muscle groupings. So you can see just in the fingers, for all the faster stuff, that's good. If you want to play slower, start bringing it into the wrist and the bigger muscles. So the first exercise we're going to look at here in order to get this quicker and smoother, this is a good point as well, is trying to play quick bursts of fast notes followed by some slow notes. And that gives your hands a rest, because if you just try and work on playing your hands kind of drop off, you run out of juice, and it doesn't quite work. So it's very important to try and play some quicker notes, followed by some shorter notes. I don't know many songs where you're going to be on the drums just going for ages. That's not going to happen. So this is the thing. It's usually just going to be a groove, and then short burst of these kind of notes. There might be some longer ones. You can work on that a bit later, but for now, you just want to try and get your speed up. So let's have a look at this. Aim for smoothness, not speed at this point. We're going to play... Uh, four, uh, a whole bar of 16th notes, which are just faster notes. And then we're going to play a bar of slower notes, 8th notes, which are just a bit slower. And you can think of it like this. So for simple people like me, you can just go for 
four groups of pepperonis. So pepperoni, 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 pepperoni. And then four apples. Apple, 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 apple. Pepperoni, 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 apple, 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 apple. Fast. Slow. Fast. Slow. And try and get that exercise a bit quicker and smoother. Keep aiming for the smooth. This is the thing. You want those strokes nice and even. You don't want this. You see, da 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 da. You want it da 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 da. Imagine like a machine gun. Da 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 da. It's just very smooth, just like a metronome. So, let's speed it up. So you see, fingers for the faster stuff, going to the wrist and the arms for the slower stuff. And faster again. So you can see, still aiming for it to be smooth. If it's not smooth, slow it down, keep working at it at a slower tempo, gradually speed it up. So you can see, very important, use your ears, listen to it, go, do I like the sound of that? If not, try it again, try and smooth those notes out even more. Quite smooth. No, I mean you can hear da, 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 da. it's not quite smooth, so there we go. Try and keep it nice and accurate, nice and smooth. Then you can speed it up. And at the end of this, keep working at it. The more time you get at it, you put into it, you're gonna get out, you're gonna have that super duper shiny single stroke roll. So you guys do some work on that. I hope that's been helpful. Have a good go at that, and uh, I will see you for the next lesson on double strokes.